Hi, I'm Sam with Summit Hydraulics, and today we're going to be going over some common misconceptions when purchasing couplers. We're going to be going over different coupler styles as well as how to measure different coupler body styles and how to identify threads. We hope this video is informative and helps you purchase your next coupler set. So we're going to come in and show you guys how to identify the threads first to be able to select the proper couplings. Uh, this is a really good tool. It's called a thread identification kit. This is industry standard for checking and identifying threads to make sure you have the proper thread. Um, if we open this up here, you can see there's several different thread sizes. Um, we have SAE or what is called UNF. Uh, we have NPT, National Pipe Thread. Um, there's several different kits for different threads. This particular one is going to be UNF and NPT, which is National Pipe Thread and O-Ring Boss. Um, they also provide you with a thread gauge kit. Um, this will help you identify how many threads per inch you have for each thread in this kit. Uh, it's another good tool to use to be able to identify uh, and make sure that you're selecting the proper threads. So we've got a female coupler here that has female thread. I've pulled one of the identification adapters out of the kit. We're just checking to see if this thread is what we think it is. We go ahead and run this down in here. Now, what we're looking for is a good, smooth action when you're threading this into the female side. If this were to bind up or if it wobbled when you were trying to thread it in there, we know that's not the proper thread. And use this other adapter to kind of show you what I'm talking about. This one, when you thread it in, it's not going to go all the way. It'll go in maybe a thread and then stop, or it's not even the correct diameter. But you do get the idea. We want a good, clean action. We want this to thread all the way down in to properly identify what thread we're working with here. So the neat thing about these adapters is they do have the thread pitch as well as how many threads per inch are on this adapter. So we're looking at half inch dash 14 NPT. That's telling us it's a half inch diameter hole. We got 14 threads per inch and it's national pipe thread. So we've properly identified the thread on this coupling and we know that it's half inch NPT. Kind of demonstrate another one here. We also have this one that has a male JIC bulkhead on it. I've pulled out what I think is the proper adapter to help identify what this thread is. Again, we'll screw the female right onto the male. We're looking for that good, smooth, clean action, no wobbling, and thread it on as far as you can until the, the uh, adapter stops threading. Again, this one's marked. It's probably hard to see, but it does say 7 8 dash 14 UNF. Um, UNF is a, just another designation for SAE O-Ring Boss. And again, SAE O-Ring Boss does interchange with JIC. You can identify those easily by taking a look at the end of the thread. If it has a cone on it, we're talking JIC. If it has an O-Ring behind the thread, we're talking SAE O-Ring Boss. But both of those threads do, do share the same thread pitch. Um, like I said earlier, they do provide you with this thread gauge. Uh, we know by looking at this adapter, it's 14 threads per inch. You can identify that by using the thread gauge and it'll show you exactly what thread gauge that is. Um, you want these, the teeth for the thread gauge to match up perfectly. There should be no daylight shining through there when you are identifying those. So. Uh, another good tool that helps you um, in the case that you don't have the thread identification kit, you can use a pair of calipers. Um, these are not certified calipers, so there's a little bit, maybe a couple hundredths up per inch um, off on, 
on the measurement on these, but it's close enough to help you identify threads. So if you have the, the thread gauge, it helps a lot too. You can take the diameter here, which we see is measuring 0.867. Um, the true measurement on a, on a number 10 O-ring boss is 0.88, but like I said, a couple hundredths of an inch doesn't make that much of a difference, and this is good enough to help us to identify what thread this actually is. So in the case that you don't have the kit, we're gonna just measure the outside diameter of the thread, refer to our quick coupler uh, thread pitch identification chart, which is on our website, and this will help you identify which thread. Our chart will show exactly what measurement each one of the threads are that you're looking for and give you the exact measurement. And then you can use your calipers. And if you do have a uh, thread gauge, in addition to your calipers, you can use that to make sure that we're getting the, the right thread pitch as well. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to identify the body size of the coupling. So you can match the thread pitch with the body size and we will make sure that you're getting the proper coupling size on the thread as well as the proper size on the body itself. Now there's many different couplings that we carry. Uh, all of these are gonna be measured the same. We use the plug or what is referred to as the male side of the coupler to identify the body size. And the reason being is uh, different manufacturers will make the female side of the coupling different sizes. So the collar can sometimes be a different wall thickness, um, but the male side is always gonna be uniform and up to ISO standards, so it, they all interchange with each other. So no matter what quick disconnect you're measuring, we're always gonna measure it the same way. Um, in this case, you'll always need a pair of calipers to do this. Um, got the same set of calipers here, and basically what we wanna do is we wanna measure the tip of the coupling and we wanna get that outside diameter. So you can see here we're measuring 0 0.960. Like I said before, these are not certified, so a couple hundredths of an inch uh, is not gonna make too much of a difference. Um, so when you're looking at a half inch body size, um, the true measurement for this is what was referred to as 0.94. Um, you can see this again on our website. We do have um, a body size identification chart in addition to our thread chart. So uh, very, very useful. Um, go ahead and check it out on the website because you're gonna need it when you're trying to identify the proper body size as well. Like I said, we're measuring 0.96 here. The true measurement on this should be 0.94, but you know, close enough to be able to identify the body size. So we, we realize that our thread from earlier is 860. We know that this is a 5 8 number 10 JIC male bulkhead. Um, and then we realize by measuring this, it's 0 0.960 or 964 in true measurement. And that's gonna tell us that this is a half inch body size. So very easy, uh, seems complicated at first, but don't be afraid, get your calipers out, make sure you're getting your true measurement. You don't wanna have to return your couplers. Uh, because you didn't measure properly, but uh, all in all, that's it. We hope today's video has been very informative in helping you select the quick coupler that you need to get the job done. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or concerns. You can also reach us direct by email or phone, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you may have.